In this video, we're going to take a look at applying texture maps and normal maps to materials in rendered Digimania. If we go to the project library, we can see that we have our assets already imported into a dino package. Let's take a look at the mesh and see what we have so far. So if we right click on the dinosaur, choose create mesh, this will load it into the 3D viewer. We can see that we have a gray material applied to the eyes and also to the collar studs and to the collar buckle. The eye has an outer polygonal shell and underneath that is the eye with the texture map applied. If we come back to our project library and we right click in a blank area and choose new material instance, this opens the new material instance window. Let's name this Dino Transparency. And then for the template, we'll choose a glass material and hit OK. This will load a new material instance into the project library. As we can see, it hasn't yet been applied. Let's right click on the new material and choose Open Editor. This will load the parameters for the material. We have a reflection in the material at the moment, which we're going to want to remove. And to do this, we'll scroll down to the reflections rollout, find the strength parameter and set this to zero. This will give us a transparent material with no reflection. With the mesh selected, find the matte dino eyes transparent material and select the slot next to it. We can browse in the dino package to the dino transparency material and choose it. This will apply it as we can see in the 3D viewer. And as we can see, the eyes have now been fixed and we can see the texture underneath. Next, we're going to take a look at the collar. So if we move this window to one side and then select the Dino Collar Metal Material, right click and choose Open Editor. We can see in the Diffuse rollout, there is a texture slot and alongside of it is a Show Colors button. Click this and this will open up a color picker. If we choose from here, let's say a green material, this will be applied to the collar metal. And we can also see that the word texture has turned blue. This signifies that a change has been made to this parameter. If we wanted to reset it, we could right click it and choose reset. And this will remove it. I'm just going to reapply this color again. And then I'm going to hit close. Finally, let's take a look at applying normal maps. We have normal maps for the body, the collar, the eyelid, the teeth bottom, and the teeth top. And we have an associated material for each of those. So let's start with the body. Select the material instance, right click, and choose Open Editor. Scroll down through the parameters to find the normal rollout. And then we find the normal map attribute. Let's click on the slot next to it, and this will allow us to browse through our textures. If we go to the Dino package, we can see the normal maps. Choose body, and this will apply the normal map. We can adjust the strength of the normal map with the strength parameter in the normal rollout. If we increase it, we can see that the effect of the normal map is increased. Applying the remaining normal maps is exactly the same workflow. We just select the material, go to the normal rollout, and apply the normal map there. And with all of our normal maps and textures applied, we now have a finished dinosaur character.